sing to the Lord and rejoice, for He treats His name. Sing to the Lord of the earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone of the Holy One, you alone of the Lord, you alone of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may marry to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen. O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you the sign. 
the virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation, you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings, you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I came. I come. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. Do, to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For these reasons, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me in holocaust and sins offering you took no delight. Then I said, as I written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sins offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord the angel gabriel was sent from god to a town of galilee called nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named joseph of the house of david and the virgin's name was mary and coming to her he said hail Full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled, and what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. 
Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month of her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. And this commemorates the visit of the Archangel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary, telling her that she will be the mother of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And Mary's response was, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Ako'y alipin ng Panginoon, maganap nawa sa akin, ayon sa iyong sinabi. Ang tugon ni Maria ay pagpapakita ng kanyang pagsunod, pagpapakumbaba at buong pagtitiwala sa kalooban ng Diyos. Tayo kaya mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, Kaninong kalooban kaya ang ating sinusunod? Kaya kaya nating sundin ang kalooban ng Diyos? Are we willing to fully surrender to God's will? Kaya kaya nating sundin ang plano ng Diyos para sa atin? O tayo lang ang gumagawa ng sarili nating plano at ipinagdadasal natin sa Diyos na maganap yung mga plano natin. What if we try naman natin na ipagdasal natin, Lord, ano po kayang plano mo para sa akin? Ano ba talaga ang gusto mo para sa akin? Ano po kaya ang mas makabubuti para sa akin? Ano mang kalooban mo ay aking susundin at tutuparin. Sapagkat madalas sa buhay natin, tayo ang gumagawa ng plano. Kaya kung minsan, yung mga plano natin hindi natutupad. Kung minsan yung mga plano natin ay hindi nakakabuti para sa atin. Dahil hindi natin iniaayon sa plano ng Diyos ang ating mga plano. Are we ready to say yes to God? O baka naman sasabihin natin, ah, hindi pa pa ako ready. Saka na po, hindi pa po ako handang maglingkod. Saka na ako magbabago. Saka na ako susunod. Mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, tularan natin ang ating mahal na inang si Maria sa kanyang pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. May we give our yes to God with all humility and full trust in Him. At lahat ng plano natin, kung ito'y naayon sa plano ng Diyos, ay matutupad sapagkat walang hindi mapangyayari ang Diyos. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Let us all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate His mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her, in her immaculate womb, that the promise to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice as we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord. Neil, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Father Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that we who have conceived, who was conceived of the Virgin Mary, is true God and true man, we may through the saving power of His resurrection Married to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietra Alcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you, our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede. Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa pagnanais nating palawakin ang dokumentasyon at datos ng mga pilgrims and devotees na bumibisita sa pambansang dambana, kami po ay nag-aanyaya sa inyong lahat na makilahok sa ginagawang pagkalakap ng impormasyon na makakatulong sa pagpapaunlad ng ating turismong pangsimbahan. Makikisuyo po kami na pakiiska ng QR code na inyong makikita sa paligid ng simbahan at pakikumpleto ng mga impormasyon kinakailangan. Makakaasa po kayo sa aming pag-iingat ng private information na inyong ibabahagi bilang pagsunod sa batas ng Data Privacy Act of 2012. Ang inyong pakikiisa ay malaking tulong at susi sa tagumpay ng proyektong ito, diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, there will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.